I'm doing on tutorial on how to make a simple game in using Microsoft Small Basic. Today I'll be showing you how to make a basic for a basic game that an easy game with and has a lot of possibilities. So I'll go through it step by step to show you what I've done. So this first bit here, the text window. So basically you'll have one you have like a say if I had I don't know a math if I wanted it to do something with math related to math I'd just do math and then you can scroll through and then it'll give me and then you put dots and then it'll give you all the options and stuff within maths so this is text window and you can write there so that's how you make it write something and it tells you tails I win heads you win so you don't actually get the unicorn but here is a variable. You can tell a variable by how it has this little head to it. Now, you can set this to variables can be set to a, how it can be given a value. For example, flip equals two, a random number between one and two. Because here again is maths, and we're using the get random number. So you'll get a random number with a maximum number of two. So I'll put one and two. And so if the flip equals two, then it'll say you win. And if it's not, which is else, which means if if anything else happens, it will make he'll just say you lost. And then it'll end. So basic. This can be worked on in lots of different ways. For example. You could have it a bigger value than just two. Okay, you can have like five and have different outcomes depending on what happens. In fact, you can make a whole game just from like a game. I don't know. You have a venture and random things happen depending on what the random number, whatever the random number is. Anyway, that was a tutorial on how to make a basic game using Tool Basic. If you found any problems with the code, please um. What, um, write in the um, comments because I haven't had a chance to test this because every time I do it crashes because of the antivirus. But when I did run it, it didn't give me any messages. That's to say I've gone wrong. Oh, you sh and if you've got something wrong around this area, sign will appear. <laughs> Oops, that was awful drawing. Right down there, there's a little box will appear, and you've done something wrong. Oops. Say, for example, I went poop <laughs> and I press run. If we found something, it says we found some errors. I recognise things, which means it doesn't recognise what that is. So in that case, I just get rid of it. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe for more um, tutorials of Small Basic. And remember to leave any prob um, write any problems with the code in the comments below. Anyway, thank you for watching. And goodbye.